I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on integration. In this video, we'll see how to find integrals involving the exponential functions. Here are two questions to discuss. Find the following integrals. Where appropriate, give answers to three significant numbers. Integral of e to the power of 2x minus 5 dx, integral of e to the power of 5t minus 1 over e to the power of 2t dt, and definite integral from minus 1 to 1 of e to the power of 2x minus e to the power of minus 2x dx, and here we have integral 0 to 2, 1 minus e to the power of minus 2x dx. Question number 2 is, a curve is such that dy dx equals to e to the power 2x minus 2 times e to the power minus x. The point 0, 1 lies on the curve. Find the equation of the curve. The basic concept is that if you differentiate an exponential function, let's take a general exponential function, e to the power of ax plus b, uh, plus some constant, let's say k, right? So if you differentiate this function, what do you get? Now we get derivative of exponential function is exactly same. So we get e to the power of uh, ax plus b. And derivative of the exponent is a, so a times. Derivative of constant is 0. Perfect. So that is the derivative. Now from the derivative, we can write down the integral. So that is the basic concept. So if I have to integrate a function of the form of e to the power of ax plus b, what do I expect? Well, definitely, I should expect something which will give me my equation back, right, which we differentiated. So we'll get 1 over a e to the power of ax plus b, and see there was some constant, right? So let's write this as c. So in the first two examples, we'll get some constant c, a general expression for the function. And in the second two, when we are talking about a definite integral, we'll get a value. And that value has to be rounded to three significant numbers. Right? So that is the basic concept. So with that, I think you can pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. So let's see the solutions one by one. The very first one is we need to integrate e to the power of 2x minus 5 dx. Right? So direct application of the formula, we get this as 1 over 2, right? e to the power of 2x minus 5 plus some constant c. So that becomes our result. In the second case, uh, we could write this integral as e to the power of 5t over e to the power of 2t minus 1 over e to the power of 2t dt, correct? So that becomes the integral. Now we can simplify this. We get e to the power of 5t minus 2t as 3t minus e to the power of minus 2t, right? dt. So now when you integrate you get 1 over 3 e to the power of 3t. Here you get minus the minus 2 so that makes it plus half right e to the power of 2t sorry minus 2t and uh, plus c a constant. So that is the result when you integrate exponential functions. Now let's take uh, definite integrals where we might have to use the calculator. This time we need to integrate from minus 1 to 1. We have e to the power of 2x minus e to the power of minus 2x dx. So what we get here is half e to the power of 2x minus that minus becomes plus right and um, half e to the power of minus 2x 
from minus 1 to 1. So let's substitute the value. So when I substitute 1 here, we get this as half of e square, right? Plus, we could have taken half outside also, uh, plus half of e to the power of minus 2, right? So all this minus, let's substitute minus 1 now. So we get half of e to the power of minus 2 plus half of e to the power of uh, plus 2, right? So that's what you get. Now, let's take half outside. So we get uh, uh, half of e square minus half of e square. So, so these two terms cancel, right? However, this, uh, then we have half of e to the power of minus 2 minus half of e to the power of minus 2. Uh, that also cancels, right? So this also cancels. So we get 0 as our answer. Okay. Let's take the next one, which is from 0 to 2, we need to integrate 1 minus e to the power of minus 1 minus 2x dx. So when you integrate, you get uh, 1 is x, right? So you get x minus integral of this will be e to the power of 1 minus 2x divided by minus 2. So that makes this as positive, right? That makes this as positive and we are working from the lower bound 0 to the upper limit of 2. Okay. So when you substitute 2 here, you get 2 plus half e to the power of 1 minus uh, 4x and 0. So let's uh, write this as like this. Minus 0 and here you get plus half of e to the power, when you substitute 0 here, just e, right? So it is half e. That's what, right? So, so that gives you 2 and this is uh, uh, not, so we have only, we substitute 2, right? So we have plus half of e to the power of minus 3 and we get minus half of e. So let's use calculator to find this answer. So 2 plus 0.5 e to the power of minus 3 minus 0.5 e equals to. So we get this as 0 0.66 Five seven five, which can be rounded to 0 0.666 right? to three significant figures right that is how you're going to do it so I hope that helps question number two is a curve is such that dy dx equals to e to the power 2x minus 2 e to the power minus x the point 0 1 lies on the curve find the equation of the curve so we are given a dy dx as equals to e to the power of 2x minus 2 e to the power of minus x. Correct? So we can integrate both sides. We can write this as dy equals to e to the power of 2x minus 2 e to the power of minus x, right? dx. And then we integrate both sides. So what we get here as y equals to integral will be half of e to the power of 2x minus 2 times e to the power of minus x and that is plus 1 divided by minus 1, correct? And uh, plus constant c. To find the constant c, we know this point 0 and 1 is on this curve. So we'll put y as equals to 1 and x as equals to 0. So we get 2 e to the power of 0 plus 2 times 
e to the power of 0 plus c. Now that gives us uh, e to the power of 0 is 1, so we get this as half, and that is also 1, so that is plus 2 plus c, correct. So taking these numbers, 2.5 to this, what we get here is that c is equals to 1 minus 2 minus half, correct, is the value of c. So we get c as equal to minus 2.5 take away 1 minus 1.5, correct. So that is how we get our equation. So the equation for us is y is equal to half of e to the power of 2x plus 2 e to the power of minus x minus 1.5, correct. So that is how you form this particular equation. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great.